Yo, what's going on guys? My guy is from BTO, Beat the Eyes Training. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to grow your chest. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of different exercises I like to do, and some tips and tricks on muscle hypertrophy. Check it out. All right, so first off, we're gonna go into regular presses. But first, I wanna talk about the anatomy of their chest or your pecs, okay? So your chest inserts at different parts of your body, right? So it inserts right here at your um, sternum, and it also inserts up here at um, your humerus or your upper arm right here, okay? So knowing that, that means that your pec is the fibers, your muscle fibers run in different directions. Why is that important? Is that you can manipulate certain different exercises to work certain the way the, way the direction of their uh, muscle fibers goes. So that's why you do incline bench press. That's why you do declines. And that's why you do um, regular press and flies because that's the way the muscle direction goes. Okay, so first one we're gonna go with is regular press. Slide back. So regular here, lower it down, boom, easy. So now with this, to have good technique, with this is I'm gonna pinch my scapulas back on the way down. So your scapulas are on your back I'm going to pinch my shoulder blades back on the way down and then roll them forward coming on the way up. Back. So what that does is it opens up my chest to get full range of motion. Good technique. So presses are good to work the entirety of the chest. It doesn't really target a certain area like an incline or a decline was would. So that's the first one. So another way to make it harder is to add something called time under tension, okay? So time under tension is basically slowing down the movements to a certain count. So let's say I'm here and I go down. I'll go down for like five seconds and like I'll push up for five seconds, right? So what I'm gonna be doing really is gonna adding more muscle damage and the more muscle damage I get, the more I have to repair. The more I repair, the bigger the muscle grows, okay? All right, so next we're gonna do some flies. So flies are good, again, to work the entirety of your chest, okay? So your muscles, fibers, they run in that direction. That's why, if you ever heard that flies are the best exercise for your chest, it is, it's true. So what I like to do is incline. You can do a regular flat bench, but I like doing incline a little bit more. So I'll go here, have it close together, really open my chest up, hold it. You want to not keep your arms locked out, but you don't want them to go, you don't want to be here, you want to be all the way out here. So you really open up your chest, you feel kind of a stretch, close it in, open up. And again, if I want to make it harder. I'll add the time under tension. I'll go slow. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. So for the next one, we're gonna go incline press. Now remember what I keep saying that your muscle fibers run in different directions. So up top, kind of go in more of a diagonal vertical kind of um, direction. So that's why we can do inclines to work that part more. So I'm just gonna be, again, I'm pinching my scapulas back, my shoulder blades back when I'm down and I push up here, rolling them forward to get full extension and full range of motion. When it comes to hypertrophy or muscle muscle growth, like good technique and make sure you're really controlling the weight and making sure that your muscle does the work is super important. Not just trying to bang it out as fast as I can, but really controlling it, feeling my muscle do the work, feel my muscle stretch and then press and contract everything. So that's why technique is super important. All right, so for the last exercise we're gonna do is the decline. 
So with this one again, we're working more the muscle fibers down here, put more of an emphasis on it. You're still working your entire chest, but you just put more of a little flare on the um, different parts of it, the chest. So I'm going back, put my legs in. Actually, I'm going to look up first. So I'm down here, my scaps are already put back, right? And I'm just pressing up. Try to roll your shoulders just a little bit so again, you just get that full range of motion. So those are four different exercises for so four different variations you should be doing on your chest days, okay? So now let's talk sets and reps. For hypertrophy, I like doing no less than four sets of a certain exercise. With when it comes to reps, so the ACSM or American Sports, whatever, that's like what guidelines that we follow in the strength conditioning field. So we typically try to stay in the six to 12 um, rep range, but honestly, you can go all the way up to 20s. I know people can go to 20s. It all depends on the load or how much weight you're doing and something called proximity of failure. So how close are you are to failing or not being able to perform that lift again? So if I know, so let's say I have like 50 pounds on here, right? The power block. And I know I can do, my body can physically do 10 and that's it, that's my failure point. If I can do eight, that's good. I wanna get in like a two rep range, two to three rep range of failure, okay? Why that's important is because I want to get something called motor unit recruitment. Motor unit recruitment is making sure that I fire all my muscle fibers. You have different types of muscle fibers. You have type one, type two, type two X, there's a bunch of different types of muscle fibers or muscle cells that do different things. The longer you do the exercise, the more you hit those fibers. So when I first start out, I'll probably hit out probably my type 2 fibers, the fast twitch fibers first. But as I go on, then I start tapping into those slow twitch fibers. So the more longer I do it, the more close I get to failure, the more I'm going to hit those fibers. That's why um, more proximity to failure. Don't do failure every time though. Like don't, I know a lot of people, they do like, you know, certain exercises to failure to they can't do um, any more as possible, as many as possible. But when you start doing that, you start just predominantly training your muscular endurance. That's when you start getting to just your, your slow twitch fibers or your type one fibers. You wanna, again, you wanna make sure you hit all fibers so all the whole muscle itself can grow, okay? Now let's talk about volume. So volume is basically, how much you live, how many times you live, okay? Um, so again, I said um, at least four sets that day. But when you're looking into trying to be, trying to really grow your muscles, you have to be consistent, okay? That's one. And two, you have to get enough volume throughout the week. So with that being said, you wanna get at least eight total reps per week. So like I said, I can have, I can do chest two days a week, right? Um, and if I, as long as I get those eight reps in that week, I'll be good. So I can do, I wouldn't recommend it this way, but I can do two reps one day, I can do six reps the other day. Or if I do the four and four, like I just said before, I'll be perfect, I'll be golden, right? So you wanna make sure you get at least, at least, bare minimum, eight reps per week. All right, and um, one, if I had to just go out and tell you a, a, a program on how many days to lift, I would say about four days. So you can do an upper body split. So you can do two upper body days, two lower body days. And again, you just get that eight rep range, um, eight total rep range in the, um, throughout the week. Recovery is also very important. Make sure you take at least two days in between to let your body fully recover. Legs might even take a little bit longer, but two days, 48 hours should be good. All right, let me know how this helped. Let me know if you gained any muscle, if you got anything from this in the comment section. I appreciate all your love, support. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, everything. Help me grow this channel. 
I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys next time.